My parents always raised me and my sister in a Christian household. My parents really exposed me to all the joys that Christianity could bring me and my sister if we grew up and um, lived our lifestyle through Christ. But they also like didn't pressure it upon us because they knew at some point it would have to become um, our personal walk and a choice that we made for ourselves. A big hobby of mine was soccer, and as I like grew older into my middle school and high school years, that really um, turned into a lifestyle for me and my family. It produced a really selfish time period for me, where I was only seeking Christ um, whenever I needed Him or wanted things from Him, and it wasn't really a personal relationship where I was needing Him like I should have. My junior year in high school, um, that's when things started coming together recruiting-wise. Um, for my dream of playing college soccer. I was right in the thick of the recruiting process, about to commit um, to play Division I soccer, and um, my tore my ACL, and that really was a shifting point for me and my family's life. It was a really um, rough time period for us because we had put so much time and effort into it. The Lord really helped me realize that um, I needed to refocus and put my life in the hands of something greater and someone greater than myself and the plans that I had for myself. As I was healing from my ACL surgery, um, I was praying and um, starting to lean on the Lord more and asking Him what direction I should go for college, and He um, ended up leading me to UNCW. At the beginning of my second semester freshman year, I um, went to a service at Fort City, and Mike was talking about temptation. He started giving this story and this analogy on how um, back in Greek mythology, there was this captain of a ship, and he would tell his crews, hey, whenever we're passing by the sirens, make sure you tie me down um, to the mast of the ship because I don't want to be veered off course. Basically, he was talking about how yeah, that could keep you away from the temptation, but you were still being a slave to it, and um, how that relates to our faith, and um, how we needed to find a better song, um, and have that lead our lives so we're not even tempted to go off track and veer away from our relationship with Christ. I was starting to realize that whenever I put my life in Christ, and if I allowed the Lord to be my better song, that it could be the most freeing way that I could live my life and that it wasn't constricting and that I wasn't a slave to my flesh. That's just really when it started clicking for me um, how I wanted to live my life and how much better it could be um, if I lived it with Christ at the center and the forefront and guiding me. But after that point, I had um, a huge season of spiritual growth. I was serving in Gray Zone and um, attending the college ministry at Overflow on Tuesday nights and just really making the Lord more of a priority in my everyday life and um, increasing my relationship with the Lord. It was really revealed to me that the Lord was calling me back to Him and reminding me that His plans for my life are way greater than anything that I could ever plan for myself. He wanted me to be able to reflect His kingdom more here on this earth um, better than I could have if I hadn't been through those experiences. It really just allowed me to realize that I can exude that for other people and um, allow them to know that they can put their hope in Christ as well because the Lord will bring them um, through those things just like he did for me. I would like to get baptized today to publicly um, proclaim that I'm putting my full trust 